Let's jump right in to our first color, which is going to be yellow. So today I'll be using markers, but if you have anything in your art box with these same colors, feel free to use that. We're going to jump around our page quite a bit using the same colors, just because we wanna make this page as colorful as possible for our happy birthday cake. So with our first color yellow, we're going to start by using it on the stars that you see around the cake. So let's start with the left star on the top of the page and color that in with your yellow. And we're going to move around, like I said, and it's going to be a fun time. So feel free to hit the pause button if you want, just so you can keep along with all the different colors. So we're going to use seven colors, but we're going to use them all over the page. So it's gonna be a fun time today. So go ahead and use that yellow here on the second star that's on the right. Now we have one more star here at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and grab that star. So we're gonna actually jump around this page quite a bit and it's going to be a really fun time. So have a fun, fun time here with your coloring page as we do this together. And you can always substitute colors if you wanna make yours a little bit different and more colorful. So let's go with our yellow. Now back to the words, happy birthday and color in the A for the word happy with that yellow, okay? And be careful just because this is a little less space right on here. Now in the word birthday, let's use yellow on the letter I, just like this. Excellent. Now use this yellow for the candles. The, the tops of each candle have the little light on them. Let's go ahead and use yellow there as well. So we have three different spots for that. One, two, and three, beautiful. And the last part for our yellow is going to be over here where the cake is. And also this little piece here on the right is a piece of confetti to celebrate the happy birthday. So let's make that yellow as well. And now the middle of the cake, let's make this yellow. So we're going to have a nice bright colorful cake and we'll use yellow as the icing here on the middle, the yummy icing that's on the middle. Once we're finished with this cake, you're going to see a beautiful, colorful cake that's going to look extra yummy with all of the different colors we're going to use. So just be careful right over here. You have all of these wonderful decorations. You wanna just be a little careful. So all I recommend is taking your time. You can of course outline it just like this just so you can then work around it, just like that. But what you wanna do is just take your time, take your time once you get to these little pieces of decorations on your cake. And some of these circles, just work around those little circles as best as you can. It does not have to be perfect. If you end up coloring them in, that's okay. It's going to all look beautiful at the end of your coloring page. Beautiful. So just work around it. You see how I'm coloring it around first and then I color it in and fill it in. You can feel free to do that. And now we're about halfway done here with the middle of our very fun happy birthday cake. And let me know in the comments, what's your favorite type of birthday cake to have? Do you like ice cream cakes as well? Those are fun. I love ice cream cakes, those are super yummy. And sometimes I like to just have the ice cream on the side with regular cake, so. But the ice cream cake actually is combines the two. It's like the best of both worlds, right? So here, once you're finishing out with your yellow, just be careful because we wanna leave these decorations on the bottom in white because to make our cake as colorful as possible, we'll need to use some other colors there. So that's why I want to try to leave those white for now. And then we'll come back with some of our other colors later and make them some fun, exciting colors. So we're just about finishing out with our yellow and then we'll move on to some other fun colors on our happy birthday cake. So let's see, finishing that out just like that. Beautiful. So 
Once you're done with that middle part of the cake, go ahead and grab a color that's like a purple or a violet. So anything you have similar to this color here in your art box, go ahead and grab that. And we're going to use this in a few different places, okay? Let's start at the very top. And in the word birthday, the letter D we're going to use with our violet color. So let's go ahead and use that over here. And we're going to slowly start to color in more of the letters as we use more colors. So that will come to life as we color in other parts of the page. So after you color in the letter D, let's go ahead and move down to some of the decorations that you have here. We're going to start coloring some of these in. So let's pick a few right over here. You can always alternate and change, but I'll pick this one here that I will use for our violet color. Then you have some little like sprinkles, almost circle sprinkle decorations. We can use the same color in a few of those. I'll skip and use it on the middle one here. So again, you can have as much fun as you want. The point is to just get as colorful as we can with these pages. I'll pick this one over here. I'll also pick this one here with the same color. So I'm using the same color. So just go along and pick some different ones that you want to have a colorful time with these decorations that are on the middle of the cake. So now the last part, once you pick your violet decorations is right over here, another piece of confetti that's towards the bottom. Let's go ahead and color that in. And again, I'll outline it just so I can take my time and make sure it stays within the line. But let's use this as well for our violet color. Perfect. So once you've done that, you can take your violet and put it to the side. And now let's move on to our next color, which is pink. So take a look in your art box and find your pink. And we can go ahead and go back to the word birthday and let's use it on the letter T. So find that letter T and let's color that in with the pink color, just like that. And then right over here, we have these little sticks that are holding up the word happy birthday. Color that in pink as well. Those two little lines, because we want everything to be colorful on this page. On the right side here next to the letter Y, there's another little piece of confetti Let's use pink there as well. So we want to use all of our colors throughout this page to make it as colorful as possible. Beautiful. And now let's go ahead and use our pink right here on the middle. So there's a dish that's holding our cake. So let's go ahead and use that pink right in here, just like that. And just outline it first. And then as you go along, you can go ahead and start to color that in just like so with your pink. Beautiful. And just go all the way around this circular dish that's holding this colorful birthday cake. Just like that. Beautiful. Excellent. And once you start to get to the right side, you can outline it just like that. And when we get back to the rest of this plate, we're actually going to use the color we just finished using. I meant to color that in with the same color. So let's use that, bring that back. So once you finish with your pink, you can put that to the side and let's grab that violet again. So hopefully it's not too far, but grab your violet one more time. And I'd like to use this violet here on the very edge. So let's go ahead and use that violet or any color you would like right here on the very edge of our happy birthday dish. So the plate that's holding our happy birthday cake, we can go around and just color that in. So if it makes it easier for you, feel free to move your hand just so you can get a nice angle. So whatever is comfortable for your hand, feel free to move it like so. So I like to move my hand to help me color in this shape just like so. Beautiful. And now we're getting to the very edge. And now once we finish with this, we are finished with this color. So now Let's go on to our next color, which is going to be a green. So let's grab any green that you have in your art box and let's go back up top to the letters P in the word happy. So let's get the second P 
Of course, we have two P's. Let's get the second one here next to the Y and let's make that green. So grab that green and color that in. And as we color more of the letters, the happy birthday words start to get more and more exciting. So we can go there and now let's choose the letter R. So go into the word birthday and find the letter R and let's color this in with our green. Just like that, you're all doing a terrific job out there. Hopefully it's a fun birthday cake coloring page for all of you. And now let's pick a piece of confetti. So how about the one here on the left side to use for our green piece of confetti? So take that and color it in with your green as well. And once you're finished there, let's go down and pick a couple of decorations here on the side of our cake to use the green. So I will choose the first one here and color that in with our green. Then I'm going to move on to a little circle dot there with the green. I'm picking this one here to use green again. Again, we're going to just color them in with the different colors we're using. So feel free to be as creative as you want with this coloring page. And one last piece here, I'll use the green is on the far right, right over there. So now we're getting representation of all of our colors on the letters and the decorations on the side of our cake. So once you're finished with that, move your green to the side and let's go ahead and grab the color blue. So any blue you have, if it's a bright blue, that'll be great. We're going to use blue in a couple of different places today. Let's use it to start on the word happy, that other P that we left up top. Let's color that in with the blue. And once we finish with that P, let's go ahead and use it on two letters on the word birthday. The first is the B. So find the B and color that in with your blue. And like I said, we're moving around this page and having a good time jumping back and forth. So feel free to pause if you want to not miss anything or if it's going a little, little too fast for you. The next letter we'll use it for is our Y. So go ahead and find that Y and color that in with your blue, just like that. Beautiful. And let's now go down to the icing. So here we see the icing that's on the top of our cake. Let's make this blue just to give it a nice colorful mix with that yellow that's on the middle. So. Take your time. This is a little bit of a bigger space, so you have some more room to work with, but go ahead and color that in. If you want to make the top of your icing a different color, that'll be fun. Go ahead and try it and let me know in the comments what color you decided to pick for yours. Icing, maybe you have a favorite type of icing. It's a different color and you want to make it that color. Maybe your icing, favorite icing is pink or strawberry. Feel free, have fun, have fun with this page. This is a, fun, a very fun page because we're using so many colors and we're using them over and over in different areas, which I thought would be a lot of fun for the channel. So let me know if you like this. We can do more of these in the future. All right, so we can continue to get towards the middle of our icing here and just color underneath the letter H. You can just continue to keep moving as we go, just like that. Move around those candles. And once we're done here, we have a few more space places we need to use our blue. But once the blue starts to get onto your page, you're going to notice how much more colorful this cake becomes. It really starts to bring it to life. And so once we're there with this happy birthday cake, we're going to next move on to coloring in some of those decorations with the same blue. So don't put it far just yet. And now let's pick a couple of decorations here we want to make blue. So I'm just going to pick here, this one right in there. I'm going to pick this one here, just because I wanna have them on opposite sides so they're not next to each other. So if you can spread them out, that would be really, really nice. How about this little dot here? I'll make this blue as well. And from here, let's pick one of the confetti decorations on the outside to use our blue. How about this one at the very bottom? This is the last one we have here at the bottom. Let's use this for our blue as well. 
just like that. Excellent. And once you're finished with this one, you can now put your blue to the side. So we have two colors left. And the first one we can use is orange. So take a look in your art box for any orange you might have. And let's start out at the very top and color in our confetti that's above the letter Y with our orange. So go ahead and grab that and color it in with that orange. And now all of our confetti are having different colors as well. Let's go to the word happy and color the in the letter yellow or the letter Y, I'm sorry. Let's color in the yellow, y, the word yellow. So what we'll do is let's get the word happy. Let's color in the letter Y with that orange. So go ahead and color that in. Now in the word birthday, let's color in the letter H with that same orange. So we're really using all of our colors multiple times here today. And once you finish with the letter H, le next, let's go to the candles. So in these candles, at the very middle of the candles, you see these little lines, right? So let's go ahead and color that in orange as well. So let's color in those lines in orange just to make the candles even more colorful on our cake. And now let's go to our decorations and make a few of them orange. So I'm going to start with the little first circle and make that orange. I'm going to pick this one here that's still in white. I'm going to make that one orange. Then I'm going to skip a few and pick this one and make this orange. And the last one here on the right, I want to make orange as well. So again, skipping a few and trying to really stretch out and blend those colors in as best as possible. So now we have one more color left. So let's use that color as red. So let's pick the red color in your art box and we're going to finish out this happy birthday cake together. First with the confetti. There's only one confetti on your coloring page that's still uncolored. Let's use that and color it in with your red. Next, in the word happy birthday, find the letter H for happy, and let's use red there. And once you have that in, there's only one letter left that we need to color in. So let's go ahead and find that color, and that color will be red for the A. So let's find that letter A, that's the last letter left in the word happy birthday, and we're going to make that red as well. So keep using that red there. And now all of our letters in the word happy birthday are colored in. Now we have a few decorations left. So let's go ahead and color in the last decorations that we left in white with the red. So that's why I wanted to spread them out. So they matched and also had color throughout. This little circle, I'll make red. This one here, I will make red as well. And last but not least, we will make these two here red. Finishing it out very nicely. So now we finished coloring in our colorful happy birthday cake together using seven colors. Oh, oh.